Hi. Today we're doing a demonstration on installing Max Keyboard's Universal Black Translucent Keycap Set. Here we have a front side print keycap set, and we also have a top print keycap set available. Other manufacturers will claim that their keycap sets are universal, but some keys won't fit on certain keyboards because of different sized modifier keys and spacebar keys. What's great about Max Keyboard's keycap set is that it's the only set that fits 99% of major brands, such as Logitech, Razer, Corsair, Cooler Master, Ducky, and much more. So here we have Max Keyboard's custom modified LEDs on Razer Ultimate 2013 mechanical keyboard. First, we'll start with the tools that I will show here. You'll need a plastic keycap puller, which is included in Max Keyboard's keycap set. But if you have one that looks like this, this will also work as well. And then you'll also need a flat screwdriver. And during the installation, you'll see two kinds of stabilizer bars. One is for the space bar, and the smaller one is for certain modifier keys. During the installation, you'll also see a set of stabilizer clips and stabilizer hooks. Now I'm going to show you how to remove all the keys. Using a wire keycap puller like this is less efficient because you have to pry it open each time and align it in order to pull the keycap up. Using the plastic keycap puller included in this set is more time efficient when you're pulling out a lot of keycaps. So you place it, make sure you hear the clicks on both sides, and then you pull it out. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the keycaps with stabilizer bars. This method of removal will be applied on both shift keys, enter key, backspace, the numpad 0, numpad plus, and numpad enter. So you're going to take your plastic keycap puller, you're going to push it downwards until you hear the click on both sides. Get your left hand and your right hand to gently apply pressure to pull it upwards. But be careful not to pull it too hard because there's a stabilizer bar underneath. And now you will see the stabilizer bar. There's a gap. You get your plastic, uh, you get your screwdriver and fill it in the gap here. And all I have to do is just press it outwards. And do the same with the right side. Pull it outwards. Now we're going to invert the stabilizer clips. You'll see the two clips on this side here. You're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to push it inwards on the side that's opposing the clip. Like so. Just remove it upwards, invert it, place the clip in, and then you're going to clip it in. You can do the same on the other side. Push it in, upwards, invert it, place a clip in, and then click it in. Here we have our current shift key. I'm going to remove the stabilizer bar. And now you'll see the stabilizer hooks on both sides. You're going to remove them. And there's two methods of doing this. You can either wiggle it, like so, until it releases. Or you can lift it up by putting one finger over here and using your screwdriver to push it upwards, like so. Okay. So originally, the stabilizer bar was like this. But since we inverted the stabilizer clip, stabilizer holder, we're go also going to invert the stabilizer bar. And we're going to do that by inverting it this way. 
So make sure that this is facing upwards and facing the opposite of the shift key. You're going to hook it within the stabilizer hooks, like so. And then you're going to place it in, like so. And now, you're going to get your screwdriver to clip it inwards on the left side and also on the right side. And there you have it. Okay, now we're going to remove the backspace bar, place the keycap puller, lock it in place so you hear the click on both sides. Get both of your left and right hand to gently pull it upwards. Be careful not to pull too hard. Now you'll see the switch and the stabilizer bar. Get your flat screwdriver and place it in between the switch and the stabilizer bar and twist it outwards. You can also do it on the other side as well, twist it outwards. And there you have it. Next you're going to invert the stabilizer clip. Get your screwdriver and pull it upwards on the side that's opposing the clip. Invert it. Place a clip inwards first and then you click it in. Do the same on the right side. Pull it upwards. Invert it. Clip first and click it in. Okay, so I've already installed the stabilizer hooks. And you want to make sure that your stabilizer hooks are facing the longer side is facing upwards where the front print is. And then you're going to get your stabilizer bar and hook it exactly like this. And hook it from the side here and over here. And then it will look like this. And you place it. Okay, and you're going to line your stabilizer bar with the clips underneath. Then you're going to put it, twist it inwards to hear that click. And do the same on the right side. Do you hear that click? Twist it. And there you go. When it comes to the NumPad Plus and the NumPad Enter keys, you don't need to invert the stabilizer clips because you can keep them in place. So you're going to clip it in, gently pull it outwards, and get your screwdriver, place it in between the switch and the stabilizer bar, and twist it outwards. Okay, so I pre-installed the stabilizer hooks here. Remember that when it comes to the NumPad Plus, you want the stabilizer hooks, the longer side, to be facing the stabilizer clips. So that'll look like this. Now we get your stabilizer bar. I'm going to hook it in, like so. Then I'll look like that. 
and now you place it in. Get your screwdriver, clip it in by twisting it inwards and doing the same on the right side. Okay, now we're going to remove the space bar. Get your plastic key cap puller again. Here, a click from both sides. Lift it up gently with both hands. And there you'll see the stabilizer bar underneath. Get your flat screwdriver. And you're gonna push it out from underneath on the left side and on the right side. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the space bar. You don't need to invert the stabilizer clips underneath. You can just leave them in place. And when it comes to the stabilizer holders, the longer side has to face where the clips are. So that'll look like that. Now we'll put your stabilizer bar underneath. This is how it should look. And then you're going to align it, the stabilizer bar with the stabilizer clips. And you get your screwdriver and push it in, twist it in till you hear the click on the right side. I'm going to do the same with the left side. Push it in. Maybe that click. And that's how it should look. Now I have installed all the keycaps with stabilizer bars. The hard part is over. Now I'm going to install the rest of the keycaps on the keycap set here. It's all already pre-labeled, so you can fit them easily in the appropriate spot. And here's the second set. You might be wondering why I didn't use a set on the top level here. That's because the modifier keys are 1.25 unit and spacebar is 6.25 unit. Razor Black Widow bottom row modifier keys are 1.5 unit, 1 unit, and spacebar is 6 unit. Our max keyboard keycap set is universal because it supports 1, 1 1.25, 1 1.5 unit modifier keys, and it will support 6, 6.25, and 6.5 unit spacebars. Now I'm going to install the bottom row modifier keys located here. Now I've finished installing Max Keyboard Black Translucent Keycap Set onto Razer Black Widow Mechanical Keyboard. This is how it looks without the backlighting on. Very stealth looking. Here is a backlight on medium setting.
and here it is on full backlight setting you can see like a really nice glow and this is what it will look like in a completely dark room Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, thumbs up or subscribe.